So there's another testimony. And then he says, behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Notice the, the pronoun here, behold, I come quickly. So here's John. He's had this panoptic vision. He has this, this man who's been his kind of his tutor, his guide. And this man's talking to him in first person. Behold, I come quickly. At which point, John, verse eight, I, John, saw these things, heard them, and when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. This is, this is one of those incredible places in scripture where we come uh, where we're introduced to this concept of divine investiture of authority. It's where God authorizes somebody to go and speak as if they were him, to, to speak on his behalf in first person. And so the, the angel is doing just that. Now, some of you probably think to yourself, so what difference does that make? There are many times when God grants us this divine investiture of authority, not to the same degree or level as the angel here with John. I get that. But every time a worthy priesthood holder places hands on the head of somebody, they do that to stand there and speak and pronounce a blessing in such a way that it's not just a prayer or a petition. President Nelson has talked about this, the ability to stand and speak the words of God. There is a divine investiture of authority there. Every missionary who puts on a name tag, a name tag and goes out to, to spread the work of salvation and to help gather Israel in, whether it's in a proselyting mission, a service mission, a 18, 19, 20-year-old person doing it, or an, a retired couple serving, or mission leaders doing it, if you look at the tag, it has their name followed by the church of Jesus Christ. They take his name literally upon them to go out and speak in his name. There is a divine investiture of authority given to those missionaries. Every key holder, every uh, person who gets a calling in the church and is set apart, they get a degree of divine investiture of authority to start creating more of an outpost of heaven in that calling that they have jurisdiction over. It's, it's a beautiful concept that I, I think, I could be wrong, but I think I often live far beneath my privileges when it comes to really tapping in to God's power in these different uh, areas of my life where maybe he's invested more authority in me than I'm actually using.